Well, no community is immune to violence. The FBI released its latest crime stats just a few days ago, and Boardman, Warren, and Youngstown all saw increases. Local groups are trying to do what they can to raise awareness during Ohio Nonviolence Week. 27 First News reporter Tyler Trill picks up the story from here. Ohio Nonviolence Week started with a parade throughout the streets of downtown Youngstown. 71 groups were involved, some holding signs remembering loved ones, others simply asking for no more violence. They want people to remember that words are powerful. We need to look at ourselves and watch the language that we use, not just kids, but adults. The Bureau of Justice Statistics says 1.4% of blacks and 1.1% of whites were a victim of violent crimes in 2014. In total, there are almost 3 million violent crimes two years ago in America. The most important message in the world is nonviolence as a way of life. Minnie Jean Brown Tricky sat in the parade's lead car. She was one of the nine African American students who persisted to attend an Arkansas high school after the schools were segregated in the 1950s. She says teaching people about nonviolence is the best way to stop today's cruelty. It is really about uh, thought and it's about analysis and it's really about education. Nonviolence Week was started by high schoolers who took part in a program called Sojourn to the Past, which takes students on a trip to places in the civil rights movement. Jeff Steinberg is the founder of Sojourn to the Past. He says dialogue is a key to stopping violence, which is why he wore a Black Lives Matter shirt today. We have to sit down together. We have to be able to hear the other side. Members of the nonviolence movement hope to spread their message with events throughout Youngstown all week long. In Youngstown, Tyler Trill, 27 First News.